Geeky Science here. This is absolutely fascinating. It was over at Wired.com, and it's titled, it's by Rhett Alain, and it's titled The Physics of the N95 Face Mask. And they talk about how in a regular paper or cloth mask, you know, like the surgical masks or the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the cloth masks you can buy on Amazon or, or make yourself for that matter. Uh, basically, the, those masks filter out particles by physically blocking them. So, you know, some particles, virus particles coming in or, or little tiny droplets of moisture exhaled from somebody else's breath or, or, or talking can, can get, they, they get blocked by the mask, but it's a purely mechanical blocking process. N95 masks are a whole different thing. They, there's this thing called an electric charge, right? An electrostatic charge. It means that the atoms in the material are missing or have an extra electron. So they have an electrical charge. Uh, for example, if you rub your uh, a, a, a plastic brush, you know, a, a hairbrush uh, against a wool sweater, it'll produce static electricity. You get a shock off it, right? Or if you, you walk on rubber-soled shoes or plastic-soled shoes across a, uh, across a, a, a carpet, um, you know, you build up a charge, you touch a doorknob, bang, off it goes. That's, that's the electrical charge. Well, there are some kinds of materials that permanently carry an electrical charge. And the stuff they make, and they're, you know, they're, they're mostly, um, you know, synthetic materials. But the stuff that they make N95 and KN95 masks out of is that stuff. So as particles are going by, some of them are being physically blocked, but most of them are actually being attracted to the mask by the electrical charge. Because the, the stuff that comes out of people's breath, the viruses and the, and the little droplets of moisture that the viruses are suspended in, those are electrically neutral. And so they're attracted to these fibers that are in the N95 and KN95 masks, which also you know, might account for why you can't wear them for very, very long periods of time without them starting to acquire a little bit of an odor because they're, just, you know, they're, they're glomming on to what you're breathing out as well as what's coming in. But that's how they're so much more effective. I had no idea until I read this piece in Wired.com. Uh, and that's why it's so important if you're going to go out and, exp you know, if you, have, if you haven't been vaccinated, boosted, and had COVID or Omicron or whatever, you know, which gives you a fairly high level of immunity, those would be the people who are going into restaurants now uh, sitting indoors rather than outdoors. But if you're one of the outdoors people, like Louise and I, you know, haven't gotten sick, are vaccinated, boosted, but, you know, you're trying to avoid... Uh, getting this virus, then uh, the KN95 or N95 masks are the way to do it because of that particular type of uh, really unique material that they're made out of.